Hey my friend, hey my friend, so it's your girl here, Tanisha at TanishaMarie.com. So guys, I'm going to tell you, there are 79% of people in the world, guys, that are confused, okay? 79% of people in the world are confused. Now, why, right? Why are so many people confused, guys? It's simple, right? Because people truly don't know what they want. They truly don't know, you know, where they're trying to go. Uh, they really truly don't have a direction and they don't really have a mentor, okay? And that is a huge, huge, huge issue, okay? Now, why is that a huge issue, guys? Why is that a huge issue that, you know, people don't know where they want to go? Here's the thing, guys. Most people grew up in homes where their mother told them to go to work, go to school, go to college, and then graduate. Then you have some people that grew up in homes that they grew up in the streets, right? Where, you know, they was around hustlers and they was around people that was gunslinging and all that stuff. Then you grow up around, then you have other people who's in corporate and they're saying, go to school, 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 become a teacher, become a lawyer. So now we only know what our parents told us, or we only know what our, you know, adult guardians told us all right so now it becomes a problem as we start to get older because if we heard all our lives go to school go to school go to school go to school get a good job now we literally have to change our belief system if we want to do more see the thing is what's happening right now guys is that the world is changing and it's going from the industrial age to the information age. Literally, guys, we have information at our fingertips, which is scary, but also it's a good thing too, okay? So it goes both ways. There's no industrial age anymore. People can't survive on their 401ks. People got to retire at 75 years old. Hopefully, they make it to 75. By the time they make it to, you know, 50 years old, 60 years old, they done had all these surgeries. They done pumped themselves up with all these, uh, you know, medications. So by the time 75 come guys these people are dead all right so now people go their entire life not knowing what they want even if you're a cop right you go through your whole career as a cop not really knowing what your purpose is you know that you got to make money to take care of your family you know that you have a role uh you know as a cop to serve and protect but your real purpose in life you go through life as a cop for 20 years and really not knowing what your purpose is you go through life as a lawyer your whole 20 30 years and really not knowing what your purpose is why are you on earth right because your profession is different from your purpose. So you might have became a lawyer, but guess what? Your purpose might not be to be a lawyer. You might have became a, a, uh, a social worker, but your purpose might not be that. So the thing is, people go through life not knowing what their purpose is. They become, uh, you know, they go to college and they become, you know, engineer, they become a teacher, they become this, they become that, but then they really don't know what their purpose is. And this is why people are not fulfilled at their jobs. This is why people are not fulfilled in their profession because they feel like it's bullshit. Okay, because this is not their passion. This is not what they want to do. See, I tell people, do things that you're passionate about, but do things also that's gonna make you fulfilled. Okay, make you fulfilled and making a lot of money. Okay, so so you could be in the profession, not saying, you know, if you're a cop or, you know, if you're a lawyer, you're not, you're not fulfilled, but what is your purpose? And this is the problem. People walk around every day, have no clue what their purpose is. They feel like, oh, well, you know, being I have my job, I'm good. But guys, reality is not because you're working for someone else and you're helping that person and that company build their dream instead of going out and really building your own dream. But see, you got to change your belief level because your mother never told you to go build your own dream. Your father never told you to go build your own dream or build your own business they never told you that so your belief level if you decide to do that now you got to change your belief system i had to change my belief system right five years ago right now it kind of clicked three years ago right now i'm like okay i know i got to build my own business i got to build my own team i got to build uh you know my own uh you know income and i know income comes from people or money comes uh you know right from people so guys you know if you really truly want to uh you know really know what your purpose is guys you need to stop you go to work every day you just stop and think and say what is my real purpose in life is it to go to this job every day no because it's really not that's when god didn't say god said go to work he didn't say go to a job okay is it really this job every day that i need to be going to where i gotta live check the check and i gotta wait to uh get a check to, to do something with my kids or be able to buy something no guys you want to have at least a thousand dollars in your bank account at all times
Okay, all times, bad times, good times, whatever times, all the time, guys, okay? Because you want to tell yourself that you are worthy, okay? You want to be able to convince yourself that you are worthy. They said in a book um, called The Wealth Choice, you want to know how a man feels about himself, check his bank account. And that's the God's honest truth. If, if someone can't have a certain amount of money in your bank account, guys, or people don't have a certain amount of money in their bank account, guess what happens? And you start to feel some type of way. You start to feel powerless because guess what? Money's power. Money is power. When you don't have money, now you feel powerless. Okay? Now you feel now you feel powerless. Where's your pink sweater? Well, your sneakers is outside. Get them real quick and wipe off your face. So, guys, now you feel powerless. Remember, I work from home, so that's my baby. So, so you feel powerless, guys, when you don't have money. And this is why a lot of people are walking around feeling powerless and you feeling purposeless. Because you got to wait every two weeks to get paid to have a dollar. Because that's really what it is. Because now you got all your bills to pay. Your kids need stuff. Your wife needs stuff. Your husband needs stuff. And then now you got to pay all these bills. Bills come up. Now it's like, what the hell's really going on? Okay? So you really got to find your purpose in life, guys. And that's why so many people walk around confused, guys. Because people don't have a laser focus. What are you building? What are you really focused on? It's not your job. You can't say, I'm building my job. Because your job literally can lay, lay you off or get rid of you at any given point, guys. It's not secure. What are you focusing on that you're putting your 100% effort into and you know that you're going to reap the benefits of the seed that you're sowing? What are you putting your effort into? Are you building your business up? Are you building uh, your brand up? Are you building a book up? Are you having a nonprofit organization? What are you doing? These are the things you need to think about, guys. Your, your, your position at your job is not your purpose. Your position at your job is not your purpose, guys. So, because I want you to follow me on Periscope at Royalty, R-Y-A-L-T-E-A. -E then follow me on Instagram. And then, guys, go to TanishaMarie.com. Guys, I have an opportunity there where we're helping people restore bank accounts and health. Now, is it going to be hard? Yes. Now, will it be work? Yes. But we're only looking for people that say, you know what? I want to be able to walk into my purpose, help people restore their bank accounts, and help people restore, uh, you know, their health in 2016. Because our goal is to help 100,000 families earn $1,000 per week. Now, will you be one of them? Right, you have to ask yourself, is that your purpose to align yourself with a mission that's bigger than yours, with a vision that's bigger, uh, you know, than yours, so you can latch on and attach on, you know, to the people that are going and growing and making things happen, uh, you know, in the world. The choice really, truly, uh, you know, becomes yours, guys, right? But really, the choice is really not yours because you don't know what you want, guys. That's why I invite you to go to tanishamarie.com, watch the video, okay? Then, of course, guys, text me, send me some information, send me your information, guys, so that I can get get you on the call so you can start to be a part of something that is bigger than you. That's why that's how you grow, guys. You be a part of something that's bigger than you so that you can grow into that thing. Now, if you're a part of something that's smaller than you, you can't grow. That's why people at their jobs, their jobs are smaller than them and they can't grow. And they're like, well, damn, why can't I grow? Because you're not a part of something bigger than you. That's deep right there, okay? If you're at your job and you haven't got a promotion in five years or 10 years or 25 years, you are part of something small and you can't grow. You need to be a part of something bigger so you can grow, okay? So you can grow. And it depends on your work ethic. It depends on your leadership skills. It depends on how much work you're looking to put in. It depends on how uh, grow. I mean, how big you're willing to grow. So the choice becomes yours, guys. So this is why people are confused and they can't focus and they don't know what their purpose is in life, guys. Go to TanishaMarie.com.